Thanks for joining me here at livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin. The question today is, can you catch a virus from your computer? You may be thinking of something like Elon Musk's company Neuralink. They're working with brain to computer interface technology. There have already been instances where people have controlled prosthetic limbs with only their thoughts. The eventual goal is to create a symbiosis of human and machine to interface vast amounts of knowledge directly to your brain. Imagine if you could have all the piano works of Beethoven uploaded directly to your brain. That would save vast amounts of practice time. Inventor and futurist Ray Kurzweil talks about the singularity. That's when artificial intelligence exceeds human intelligence. Connection of the human brain to a central computer database should soon follow. He predicts that date will be around 2045. Ray Kurzweil has been correct in his predictions in the past 86% of the time, so this shouldn't be taken lightly. But all of this is in the future. What I'm referring to is something that is real right now. Scientists at the University of Arizona have found that cell phones carry 10 times more bacteria than most toilet seats. But this is only one example of how you can catch a bacterial or viral infection from devices we use every day. Consider when going to the supermarket and paying by credit card or buying gasoline. How many other people have pressed those same buttons? Or if you're working in a shared environment with appropriate social distancing, is anyone sterilizing the printer or other shared devices? This is serious business we need to be aware of. So, while catching a virus from your computer sounds far-fetched, it's actually happening all around us every day. It's not just piano keys you have to be concerned with. The New England Journal of Medicine estimates that coronavirus can live for up to three days on plastic surfaces. So be sure to sterilize not just your piano keys, but any computer equipment from keyboards to mice, as well as all the shared electronic devices in your lives. Thanks for joining me. Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com.